What's up everyone, welcome to Detail Projects. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a comparison between the Chemical Guys Chenille Wash Mitt versus the Amazon Basic uh, Chenille Wash Mitt. And for those of you that don't know what a Chenille Wash Mitt is, it's basically a type of uh, wash media uh, for when you're washing your vehicle and many other things, but uh, specifically in this case for your vehicle. And it is my preferred wash media when I do my traditional um, soap washes or even when I do my rinseless washes. Usually with my rinseless washes, I use the Ultra Black Sponge by uh, The Rag Company. Uh, and I have a video for that I made it earlier when I created this channel. Uh, but I also do enjoy using this type for both washes. Now, the reason why I like these is because of the um, plushness of the materials, like these little noodles. And plus, they're able to release dirt a lot better than the other more premium uh, microfiber um, wash mitts that are out in the market and more expensive ones too. Uh, for value, uh, you can't go wrong with both of these. Now, uh, both of these come in a two pack. Uh, recently, I I'd never seen Chemical Guys come with a two pack until recently. So I got a two pack of this for $18 Canadian. And then um, Amazon sells these for a two pack for $15 Canadian at the time of this video. However, I've seen it go down as low as $11 for the two pack and I've seen it go as high as $18. So if you see it between 11 and, uh, you know, $14 Canadian, it's a good time to buy these. Okay, so moving on to the unpackaging, uh, starting with the chemical guys, uh, it comes in a regular delivery bag, but inside you see they come individually packaged with a nice premium uh, packaging with their logo and some instructions. And also the... Uh, Bags are resealable, so if you wanted to wash these uh, or wash your mitts and then uh, put them back in the bag for them to uh, not collect any dust, you could do so. Now, moving on to the uh, Amazon Basics, uh, the two pack just comes in a regular delivery bag with their Amazon Basics logo in the front, and then the two mitts, and that's pretty much it. Now, visually, the microfibers look a little bit different than the, uh, from each other. The Amazon Basics has more of a square design to it, whereas the Chemical Guys has more of a rectangle. And the noodles feel about the same. They're both just as plush. However, what I did notice is that the material between the chemical guys and the Amazon is that the Amazon material that holds the noodles in place is a little bit more rougher than that. Now, that doesn't mean you're gonna scratch your vehicle. Obviously, you gotta be very methodical with your washes. Uh, just, you know, to avoid potential uh, marring. But both of these are safe in the end of the day to wash your vehicle. You just got to be safe with it and don't add pressure. Um, just, you know, use your practices. Now, the one thing that Amazon doesn't specify on the website is the blend, whereas Chemical Guys does. And for that matter, um, I've never seen another chenille mitt uh, with a 70-30 blend on the market. And if I'm wrong, please leave a comment below for me to, to check out if there's another brand. But usually I see these other Chinese-made uh, Chanel mitts that are about 80-20 blend. And interestingly enough, the Amazon Basics has a blend of 88 to 12. 88 to 12, which is an interesting blend. Whereas the microfiber on the chemical guys is a 70-30 blend. Now, what does that mean? 70-30, just to put it in simple words, is the standard blend for your car paint. It's, it's the best blend of microfiber you can uh, use for your paint. So having said that, this is a more premium microfiber quality than this. Now, again, that doesn't mean that this will scratch your car and this won't. This is safe as well. 
It's just not as a premium material as this would be. Now, the cuffs that I notice here, so the Chemical Guys cuff fits really nice. It has a very nice smooth elastic cuff here, which is logoed by the brand, obviously, Chemical Guys. But it fits really nice, and the overall glove fits nice on my hand. I'm able to control it. And when I stretch my hand out, I feel like I have a lot of control on the wash mitt, so it feels nice on the hand. Now, the Amazon Basics problem with this is that the cuff does go in and holds in place as well. However, this cuff here is a rougher material than the chemical guys. So this is like a smooth elastic where this has some rougher textures. And the problem that I have with this is because it's a more of a square design, it's a bit bigger. So when I'm washing, there's a lot of play. So my hand goes up and down, up and down a lot. So it makes it, it's going to make it a little bit more awkward for me to um, manage to wash the car. Um, so that's the one thing. So I don't like the design so far of the Amazon Basics. I do prefer the chemical guys so far. Now, color is another thing. I like the pop of color. I like this little lime green. It makes it fun. Uh, this comes only in a gray color. And uh, again, that's a pretty neutral color. So um, no complaints there. So as we see here, both of the uh, Chanel mitts are pretty dense, meaning that the stitching between the lines are about the same to my eyes. However, can't remember if I mentioned this before, the material in here is a lot smoother than the material on the Amazon, just by a bit. Noodles feel, you know, this feels a tiny bit smoother than the noodles on the Amazon, just a tad. So that could be the blend that we're talking about, obviously. So both are great value, both have great price points. Off the bat, if I saw these on the website, I would have obviously picked up the Chemical Guys over the Amazon. Just based on paper, the specs on this Chanel mitt is a lot better than the Amazon Basics. But let's go put these to the test and kind of see how they perform, how much water they hold, and uh, kind of conclude from there. Just one little quick tip before we get started. Whenever you buy any type of microfiber, it's ideal to wash these in your uh, wash machine with a soap that is uh, scent free and free of uh, fabric softener. And you can wash them on hot, but then when you dry them, make sure that you dry them on uh, air dry or very low uh, heat because as be these being microfiber, you could potentially damage this. And never uh, blend these with your other types of uh, fabrics. Uh, Make sure you wash specifically microfibers with microfibers. All right, for the next test, just out of curiosity, I want to see how much water each of these Chanel uh, mitts can hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dunk each of them into this water bucket. Then I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to squeeze out all the water into this yellow pail. And then I'm going to uh, put that water into this empty water jug. And I'm going to mark them and see which one was able to hold more water. So let's go ahead. So here's where we got the Amazon Basics. Now let's see the chemical guys.
So both, it looks like the chemical guys also came to the same level. So it looks like both of them hold about the same amount of water. One thing I wanted to point out is that when both of these are wet, uh, the chemical guys feels way nicer than this. This feels more textured, I guess, for a lack of a better word, but this feels a lot nicer when it's wet. All right, so for the final test here, what I'm gonna be doing is I have one bucket filled with a traditional car soap. In this case, I got Car Pro reset in here, and we're going to compare the front door here. I'm gonna do half of it with the um, Amazon Basics wash mitt, and then the other half I'm going to do with the chemical guys, just to see which one kinda you know, feels better, cleans better, or whatnot. And then in this pail, I have uh, O&R, which is a rinseless wash, uh, and I'm going to be doing the uh, rear door of the vehicle. And again, same concept, half of it I'm gonna do with the Amazon Basics mitt and half of it with the uh, chemical guys, just to get a better feel again for both types of washes, what feels better. So let's go ahead. Okay, so as you see, the vehicle is pretty dirty and the stuff is caked on pretty good on here. Let's go ahead and start with the Amazon Basics and see what it does. Now, theoretically, you would rinse the vehicle off before all this, but I'm doing this just for the purpose of the video, just to see if the mitts, you know, what power uh, we're getting from the mitts. Um, and so, so far, obviously, the, uh, the Amazon Basics did clean pretty well with that traditional soap, and uh, it didn't really leave anything behind. It absorbed most of it. So, here's... So it does hold a lot of liquid, very little soil. And so, yeah, it did good. The only thing I have to say is that uh, when I was washing and it was getting um, heavier, because of the shape again, like I mentioned earlier, I noticed that all the weight was going down and my hand was up here. So it's kind of hard to control the glove inside holding it. But if you want to wash it, like hold it like a, like a wash pad, uh, you can also do so, so you can just use it like this. All right, let's move on to the chemical guys. And here we see same results. Uh, it's holding again a lot of liquid, really nice. Same as the Amazon Basics, same amount. We do see, however, because it is a lighter color, we see the dirt, it's more noticeable. Ergonomically speaking, this, because like I said, the shape of it is a little bit better to handle up and down uh, because the weight is not, it's just because it's not so wide, it's not pulling down as much as the Amazon. But uh, I gotta say that both of them clean nice. I, f I feel for some reason the chemical guys feels a bit smoother on the paint. I don't know if it's just in my head or not, but I just think it's a smoother mitt overall. That's my observation. But they're both going to clean your vehicle safely. Uh, I'm not worried about it. And like I said, I'm just doing it. I'm not rinsing anything. I just wanted to see the, the cleaning power of the mitt. So that's why I didn't pre-rinse the vehicle. Okay, so let's move on to the rinseless wash now. So we got the rear door, which is just as dirty. Uh, and we're gonna start with the Amazon Basics again. Now with a uh, rinseless wash, you don't want it too soaked. You just want it saturated. So we're gonna go ahead and give a shot here at the Amazon Basics.
and then let's go ahead and do one more pass. So it does feel safe on the paint. I'm not worried about it. There is a lot of uh, cushion between the noodles and the uh, um, the base material, I guess, here. I don't feel this contacting the uh, surface of the paint, which is a good thing. Um, however, I'm just saying, like, it just, see, because of the shape, it just tends to hold all the way down, and my hand is up here. So it's not the comfiest mitt. So I would probably use it as a pad just like this but don't add too much pressure all right let's move on to the chemical guys now and again same concept barely any water barely any dripping And again, because it's a lighter color, we see all the dirt it picked up. Switch sides. And again, I gotta say that this mitt feels smoother on the paint for some reason. Don't take me wrong, both of them are safe, but for some reason, this one feels smoother. So I'm picking hairs here, but I'm gonna have to say that I would definitely go with the chemical guys over the Amazon Basics. 100% for both washes. All right, so here's the final product. I'm overall really happy um, with the performance of the chenille mitts, period. Uh, so the results look great, both rinseless and with the traditional soap. All right, and to wrap up the video, let me uh, give you my final thoughts on these. Uh, so clearly the winner would be the Chemical Guys Chenille Mitt, hands down, and I'll tell you why. First off, I like the premium quality of this. Uh, it definitely feels premium overall, well built, and not to mention the 70-30 blend, which is the only, like I mentioned, the only Chenille Mitt that I know of that is made with this premium uh, blend. Uh, I do like the shape of it. It was very ergonomical for me to work uh, with. Uh, the cuff felt really good. Uh, overall, it felt really safe, and I do like the color. Uh, also, at $18 for a two-pack, you cannot go wrong. It is very affordable versus many other higher-end um, wash media, and I felt very safe when I was washing. So there's not one thing that I can say negative about this. Overall, this will be my choice moving forward, period. And so it works great both on wash traditional wash methods with like your soap or your rinseless, uh, whatever... I do both, so this is going to work uh, great for both. Now, moving on to the Amazon, I like the price. Two-pack for $15 is very affordable. Quality looks like it's going to hold up. However, I mentioned it felt a little bit rougher even now that they're wet. This feels a little bit rougher than this. It doesn't feel as premium. And also, I don't like the shape. It's a weird squarish shape. And when I was uh, washing the vehicle, even though I did feel safe, Washing the vehicle, I had no concerns that it was going to scratch. I just, it was awkward for me to handle. So, that being said, um, this hands down, this type of wash media, I would take any day over any other more premium, like I mentioned, microfiber uh, wash media. And um, specifically, this will be my choice moving forward. And so, that'll be a wrap up for the video. I hope this uh, helped you guys out, and thanks for watching. And as always, we will catch you on the next one. Talk to you later.